we think about poverty, we have to think about Christ who is poor. And as a daughter of Holy Mary, the heart of Jesus, I encounter in Jesus' heart in the Eucharist, the riches of the love of God, which St. John Paul II would say that the richness of God can only be expressed in poverty. And so we take everything else out of our heart to have that hole for the Lord so that he can fill us with his infinite riches. And that's a gift that many times people see us in what we give up. And it's completely the opposite. It's, I gave up all those things so that I could be filled with the Lord. And as a daughter of Holy Mary, with Mary, I encounter that treasure in Jesus' Eucharistic heart every day. St. Dominic founded the order to preach the truth, to uh, spread the gospel throughout the world and introduce people to Jesus Christ. The, the vow of poverty for us helps us to do that. It frees us from uh, the material possessions of the world that would otherwise distract us. So for the Dominican, the vow of poverty is treated so that we can give everything that we have to our study and our contemplation so that we can preach the gospel, so that we can bring Jesus Christ to the world. So for living out of poverty, I, I really enjoy that a lot. I think it's important because what I'm able to do is the things that I would want to hold on to or you know, feel secure with. I'm able to give those up to be able to hold more onto Christ and have him as the one I'm focused on in my life. It means that having that total trust in the Lord, depending on him, God on myself, and that's challenging, especially in a world where so much thinking of, you know, I can do this, I can do that, to can care about yet. He's calling us to you know, just trust in me and you know, don't cling to those things that you think you need, just like how much he fills our hearts with himself when you, know, you do let go of those things or ideas, my pride. and. And it's also so beautiful. Yes, the vows are challenging and difficult, but he gives us the grace to live them. It's not on our own that we're doing that, but it's with him and united with him as he's living that same thing as well. It's just such a beautiful gift to be able to live that. If you don't have any earthly goods, I to remind us that our true treasure is Jesus himself, and our true treasure is our treasure in heaven, being so rich in it's, it's a lot of freedom to be able to to be detached from the things around you, to be detached from from people, and uh, really be free to serve the Lord and to serve others with an undivided heart, uh, with a heart that's, that's seeking to serve Him, seeking to do the best for the Lord and the best for those you're serving. Coming from our patrons, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Louis de Marillac, and our farm founder, uh, Elizabeth Ann Seaton. The poverty is a reflection of the poor. And so our constant service is to remember the poor, those in need. And so poverty takes on the dimension of um, keeping us honest about material things, but about the need to serve others who are in need.